Good morning, welcome to Bishop Briggs Cross as we gather here the week before Good Friday. Normally on Good Friday, churches in Bishop Briggs would gather together for the walk of witness. Obviously we can't do that today, but uh, as we gather here, we want to remember a little of that walk of witness. We hope you enjoy, have enjoyed the different services from the different churches and we uh, are glad that you can join with us. So today we're going to be thinking about the Walk of Witness. Normally it would start at Kenmuir Church. We would process down Crickentillet Road to St Matthew's Church on to Cadder South Hall and then finish our walk at Woodhill Evangelical. We really are going to miss not gathering together to bear witness to the, the Lord Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. But hopefully we can spend these few minutes reflecting 
upon his death and upon what he has done for us. So pray that the Lord will bless you. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put on his own clothes. Then they led him away to crucify him. After they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skill. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests and teachers of the law and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he cannot save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him, for he said, I am the Son of God. In the same way, the robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, he's calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake, and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. Many women were there, watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and the mother of Zebedee's sons. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who, ha who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. 
and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Let us pray. Father God, as Joseph walked away from that tomb, he, like many others, had no expectation of life from death. He went away sad, empty, sorrowing, without hope. And at this time, Lord, perhaps there are many who will gather on Good Friday, feeling that same sense of hopelessness. So, Father God, as we wait between Good Friday and Easter Sunday, we pray, Lord God, that you would not abandon us, but that you would come and be close to every troubled heart. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thank you.